This is the Vexilar FL12, the next generation of the world's most popular three-color flasher fish finder. Now let's take a few minutes to show you how to use your new FL12 effectively on open water for finding depth, structure, and fish. Catching fish using real-time flasher sonar technology is really a quantum leap towards sophisticated angling techniques. You see, flasher technology is relatively old. It's been around for 30, 40 years, but the application of it for real-time sonar response has really come into its own in the last few years because anglers are starting to understand the true applications of flashers for real-time response. And today what I'm going to do is show you a little bit about how that real-time response can help you put more fish in the boat. Because today I'm fishing deep milfoil patches. I'm using a very powerful stick, a big one ounce jig, and I'm fishing vertically in columns of milfoil. One of the big advantages many people say why they like flasher technology is it's real time. You know, it, as you see it, it happens. In shallow water, flashers are unbeatable because they can show you the depth in one or two foot of water. Liquid crystals have a problem because they tend to average things out and show you a history of what's happened. Say, for example, we want to fish in a brush pile, and here I'll just use my real handle as the brush pile to give you an idea. As a liquid crystal unit would display this object, you would literally be past it before it would actually start drawing it on your screen. So your mind would say, oh, there's a brush pile there. Now, I'm not saying it won't show the brush pile. It will show the brush pile, but it's delayed. It's history. With a flasher, it's instantaneous. So what you see is exactly what's underneath you for that instant. So if I want to fish this individual limb of a brush pile, I can literally hover the boat over the top of it and fish vertically. Now on some of the lakes in, in southern Texas where they have a lot of deep milfoil, the columns of milfoil may be 10, 15, or even 20 feet deep. They literally position the boat using a flasher over individual stocks of milfoil and fish vertically. With a liquid crystal, it shows you an average of what's down there, so you really don't have an idea where these pockets are in the weeds. So what I'm using today is some real power fishing. I'm using 50 pound test line. I'm right inside a thick weed bed with a 10 foot column of milfoil. Powerful rod, powerful line, a one ounce jig, and I gotta pull hard to get them in. Let me show you how this flasher technology can help you catch more bass this next season. Corrosion is a major factor in the marine environment. Crimped connections and exposed terminals need constant checking. Be sure these connections are tight. Repair and replace loose connections right away. Also be sure your battery is fully charged and ready to go at all times. Vexlar offers several beam angle configurations in several different transducer systems. Your system could come with any of these. Whichever style you have, be sure your transducer is plugged in and tightened down. Also, check the cable for any cuts or breaks. Make sure the transducer itself is in good condition. Note any scratches or gouges in the housing. These can lead to performance problems due to a weak transducer. Also, for externally mounted transducers, be sure to adjust it properly so it can give you accurate readings. The gain controls how much signal you see on the circular display. It does not affect how much power your flasher is putting out. Rather, it controls how much of the signal that bounces back to the transducer is amplified. Keep the gain control set low. Turn it up only when you need to. Generally, for open water use, you will want to keep your gain set very low, turning it up only to maintain a good bottom signal. The range control sets the depth that the flasher will read to. There are five ranges available, 0 to 20 feet, 0 to 40 feet, 0 to 60 feet, 0 to 80 feet, and 0 to 200 feet. To determine the depth, simply match the color that the range knob is set to, to the corresponding color scale on the circular display. For example, if the range control is set to the yellow 20-foot setting, look to the yellow ring on the display. If the range knob is set at the orange 60-foot scale, look to the orange ring on the display. To read the 200-foot scale, you must multiply the reading shown on the yellow scale by 10. Also, notice the 0 to 20-foot low-power range setting. This sets the range to 0 to 20 feet, but with the output power of your unit reduced by 
Now when you're fishing in waters with lots of weeds, or maybe even large schools of fish, you will find that the lowest setting on your gain is simply not low enough to clearly understand the signals below. With the 20-foot low power mode, you can cut the output of your unit by 50% to make it easier to find true bottom in the weeds or to make it easier to find your bait within a school of fish. Now here's an example of a thick weed bed in normal mode. Here is what it looks like in low power mode. See how easy it is to find true bottom in the low power mode? This is one of the true advantages of Vexilar Flasher technology. All Vexilar flashers utilize a three-color display system. The colors are designed to give you more information about the strength of the signals being displayed. Red represents the strongest of the return signals. Green represents the weakest of the return signals. And orange represents medium strength signals. Using this information, you can get a better understanding of the conditions below you. The colors can also help you determine the type of bottom content. Soft bottoms will show more orange and green than red. Harder bottoms will show more red and a narrower signal overall. Also, vegetation will show as weaker signals above the stronger signal of the true bottom. The FL-12 is by far and away the easiest sonar system to use in open water. You only have two knobs to control. No confusing menus, nothing fancy. Just simple, easy to use operations. The FL-12 has a really nice feature, and let me talk to you a little bit about what it is. Because when you're using a liquid crystal unit in heavy vegetation or in shallow water, it's hard to see what the true bottom is. In most cases, the screen will all go black. But with the FL-12, you can use it to find what true bottom is. And that's, let me show you how that works. First thing you do when you turn the unit on, you'll go to the 0 to 20 foot mode, and you know, it shows the bottom, so we're okay there. Now we want to keep the gain as low as possible. But it looks like we're in only like four foot of water because that's where the first strong red signals are. But it's not because you know you're fishing in heavy vegetation. So the secret here is to go to the 20 foot low power mode and it's built in. So it's just a matter of flipping the switch. Now I go to the 20 foot low power mode and now I find out that the bottom is really in 10 foot of water. See, it's 10 foot deep here. The green signals are an indication of weeds and other, other vegetation, but the true depth is actually 10 feet. The 20 foot low power mode cuts the output of the unit by 50%. So that gives you the ability to cut through all the clutter and show you what the true bottom is. Now if you're bass fishing and if you can find that you're actually in 10 foot of water when most units say you're in 5 foot of water, you have the distinct advantage over the competition. So flasher sonar technology delivers real time response and works extremely well in heavy vegetation. The idea of fishing with a flasher is quite simple. Because it gives me instantaneous response to what's below me, I can keep the boat exactly where I want the bait and the boat to be. Because wherever the boat is, I make sure the bait stays near it. So many times when people are fishing, they say, oh, the drop off is here, so they cast ashore. No, no, no. The fish relate to this, the objects and the bottom. In this case, on this side of the boat, it's thin weeds, and on this side of the boat, it's too thick of weeds to fish. And the fish are right on this crease. So what I'm going to try to do is position the boat so I stay along this edge. Now I'll just turn the boat a foot or two at a time, to the left or to the right, to make sure I keep bumping that weed edge. My casts aren't a country mile. My casts are right in front of the boat, or right off to the side where I know that, okay, I'm a little into it. That should be right on the edge. And I'll keep tapping the edge, pulling the boat to the left, to, to clear. Oh yeah, it clears up right there. And then I back away. And I know that the edge instantaneously is right underneath me. You can't do that with a liquid crystal. Liquid crystal units show you history. In other words, it shows you what you've gone over. My transducer is right on my electric trolling motor. So it's telling me what's directly below me. So if I keep my bait in the prime structure area where they're holding the fish, I'm just going to catch more fish. It sounds really logical, but really uh, catching fish is a logical matter. If you keep the boat on top of structure, keep your bait in the structure zone, you're going to be catching more fish. And flashers do that better than anything because it offers real time response.
come up to that edge. Boy, there's no doubt about the fact that that edge is very, very sharp. I don't know if I could stay on it any other way because it's just a matter of a foot one way or a foot the other. Some of our Vexilar field staff people down in Amistad, down in Texas, on Falcon, fish a lot of deep milfoil like this and won tens of thousands of dollars and I think at last count three bass boats by using this exact technique that I'm talking about here. It's very effective. But I'm, again, a lot of people don't understand the locator shows you where the structure is. The fish relate to the structure, so you've got to keep your bait where the structure is. And in this case, you want to keep it down where the action is. And that's right down on those edges. And we're right, you know, it's an imaginary line in my mind, but I must be right on the edge here, because if I go this way, it's too thick. If I go this way, it's too thin. So I know that I'm right here on the crease. So I'm just going to keep working down this crease until I find them. There's one. Oh man, right on him, right on him. Oh, that's a little guy. There we go. You see, the FL-12 kept me on that spot. The FL-12 shows you where the structure is. The fish live around the structure, and as long as I can have heavy line, heavy lure to get down to where the structure is in front of the fish, you can catch them. I'm gonna try to catch its mother here pretty quick. There we go. Another little one. Little fish with big dreams. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I love it when when they pull my string. Yeah. <laughs>